The power play was patient. They worked around until they found the best shot. But if they don't have that traffic in front of the net, it's not going to matter. The puck goes through the traffic, past the goalie, and they've got a power play goal. The Nighthawks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck. The Icebreakers take possession in the defensive end. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. Quick feed to Cooley. Oh, 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 what a collision. Yeah, that's not a collision. That's one player delivering a solid body check to another. He's known for this. If you have your head down for just a second, look out. Intercepted at center by Martinez. And he makes the save. The Icebreakers will play it from the defensive zone. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Right out in front. And they can't connect. You'll need more than that to beat him. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Penalty killers are going to have to go to work now. They've got that one goal lead that they'll try to defend. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. The Icebreakers gain possession in their own end. Nice pass. Move to the middle. Here's a short pass to Kubelik. Moves it quickly over to Norris. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Icebreakers take possession in the neutral zone. Puts it towards the net. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Denies the shooter on that play. Moves it to Dupuis. Centering pass in front, and that carries off a stick. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Kubelik's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Looking to clear the defensive zone. A strong penalty killing performance on that one as both teams are now back to even strength. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. The icebreakers have it against the wall. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Works it across to Kubelik. Stays with it. Broken up by Cap. And he moves it up to Kubelik. The icebreakers have it from their own end. Pass it up ahead. And now he tries to get it across to Pinchuk. Delayed penalty looming. Quick whistle stops the play. Penalty killers better be sharp here, James. I mean, you're protecting that one goal lead, and now you're shorthanded. The Icebreakers send their man advantage unit out once more. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Marchand's gonna play the puck behind Whoa. the cage. Takes the feed. And not much on that one. The Nighthawks gain possession of the defensive zone. And they send it down the ice. The Icebreakers gain possession. Moves it on over to Jackson. They go on the attack through center. Moves the puck behind the net. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Special teams are always going to be a big part of any game. The penalty killers take center stage now with a one-goal lead. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Just because the power play hasn't had a success run here, you can't focus in on that. You can't try to do too much. Move the puck the way that you practice. Get people to the front of the net. It's really a simple equation. And he denied that wow. opportunity. 
We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. I'm not sure this is part of the comeback plan, James, but the penalty killers are going to have to do their job and try and waste this penalty away. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. That extra space on the ice is there for you to take advantage of. Be patient. You've got the time. Make the right play. Quick pass to Kubali. Poked away in the defensive end. Let's get the call. Two penalties in a period is tough to explain away to the coaches. He's going to try, but it's not going to work. The icebreakers dig in on this four-on-three man advantage here. I find in a lot of cases the four-on-three is more dangerous than a five-on-three. There's more urgency, there's less guys cluttering up the ice, and you can make a more direct play. The Nighthawks move the puck in the defensive zone. The Icebreakers have it behind the net. And that's off a stick. Quick feed to Pinchuk. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. While the power play hasn't worked, they're going to have to look at all kinds of options here if they get another one. Maybe change the people that go out on the power play. I often wonder what the coach thinks when he's walking. And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. Cooper Leak's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. The Nighthawks are back to even strength as the PK unit comes up large. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it, oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Baumgartner's lugging the puck. Right in front of the net. Quick stop by Vladar. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Penalty killers will do everything they can to make sure this score doesn't change. And if they can, they can all go get a breather at the intermission. The night... once again send out their power play unit looking to get it out and it's a small victory for the pk unit here well that's their job get it down the ice get off the ice get some new people out there denied by the goaltender there's the horn ending the first period both teams will have a chance to regroup you do you and we'll be back with period number two in a moment Let's see what this second period offers. The Icebreakers win the draw and get their penalty kill. Oh, they're off to a good start. The Nighthawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Kubali. Lays it to another. Yeah, it's a, been a theme tonight for him, James. It's like there's not even a puck out there. He just keeps running into the opposition time and time again. Setting up for the faceoff with a lengthy five on three here. Hey, this is a pretty lengthy five on three here, James. And so I like a little bit of patience, but don't just pass the puck around the outside. It's got to get on the inside eventually. And they get the puck out. Moves it quickly over to Norris. 
And we'll reset things after that icing. Pinchuk's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Kubalik's won it in their own end. Important draw to win so you're not chasing around in your zone. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Bladar's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Unleashes a cannon! And that's blocked. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Slides the puck ahead to Nagy. Puts it to the front of the net, and just out of arm's reach on the play. Puck sails out of the bench, sending a few people ducking. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Marchand. Granford's ready to go. Solid effort by the penalty-killing unit as the power play comes up empty. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And now he moves it to Granford. Just wide. Uh, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Takes the pass. With the stop. Passes the puck over to Kubalik. Couldn't find the intended target. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. The Nighthawks, while well, a challenge being laid here. Bradford's ready to go. Apparently the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Fladar's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. That one stung, and he's slow to get himself back together here, James. I want to look at that again. Still lots of time left in the period. The Nighthawks lead it 1-0. The Icebreakers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends a pass over. Pokes it away in his own end. The Nighthawks have it now. Feeds the puck across to Kubalik. The Icebreakers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. The setters will glide into the dot. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Grabs it in his own end. And now he passes up to Martinez. Moving into the attacking zone. The Icebreakers look to start the transition game. Takes the bank feed. Slides the puck down low. Norris takes it inside his own end. The Icebreakers carry it along the wall. Gives them nothing in front. Sharp reaction save. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Nighthawks have taken a 1-0 lead. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And now it's over. Oh, it stays out as it goes off the inside of the post. Penalty coming up here. That lead's pretty fragile, James. Here they are, you're shorthanded. Only a one-goal lead, and your penalty killers better do the job for you. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. 